Hello and welcome to Nanotechnology Course Level 1. I'm Marzi Hosseini and I'll be your coach on your journey to the world of nanotechnology. This course is consists of 7 sections and more than 50 lessons. The first section is an introduction to nanotechnology. In this section, at first you will learn about the size of the nanoscale. Then I'll discuss about what is nanotechnology how it works and how it was started. Then I'll talk about the fundamental concepts in nanoscience and nanotechnology. In the section two, we will learn some of the special properties of materials in the nanoscale, including quantum effects, expanded surface area, and some of the biological processes that occur at the nanoscale. In section 3, I'll give you several pre-modern examples of nanotechnologies as well as examples of discoveries and developments enabling nanotechnology in the modern era. Section 4 is about applications of nanotechnology in different areas, including household products, electronics and IT, medical and healthcare, energy, environmental remediation, and transportation. In the section 5, we will learn different types and classification of nanomaterials. The first classification is material-based. Based on this classification, nanomaterials can be broadly classified into four categories, which are carbon-based, inorganic-based, organic-based, and composite-based nanomaterials. Other classification of nanomaterials are based on their dimensions and their origin. In the section 6, I'll discuss nanoparticles characterization techniques. Characterization helps to determine the composition and structure of materials and also allows us to assess whether the method was successful or not. In this section, I will focus on widely used and effective techniques available to characterize nanoparticles. The characterization techniques that I'll discuss are including scanning electron microscopy, transmission electron microscopy, high-resolution transmission electron microscopy, energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy, atomic force microscopy, ultraviolet visible spectroscopy, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, X-ray diffraction, dynamic light scattering, and zeta potential analysis. In this section, I'll discuss the basic principles and mechanism of these characterization techniques, and I'll give you several examples for characterizing nanoparticles by these techniques. In the section 7, we will learn some of the methods that are used for the fabrication of nanomaterials. These methods can be generally subdivided into two groups, which are top-down methods and bottom-up methods. Synthesis and preparation techniques that I'll discuss are including high-energy ball milling, physical vapor deposition, plasma arc, flame synthesis, laser ablation, electrochemical method, soldier process, and precipitation technique. 